Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be showing you how to make a throwing axe, also known as a tomahawk. First, draw your design onto cardboard or construction paper. I suggest using cereal box cardboard as it's easy to get a clean cut. Our tomahawk is going to be made out of a single piece of metal, so the hilt is included in the template. From my reference image, I found a basic tomahawk design that I knew I could draw easily. However, I do suggest drawing a design with less of a curve as it would be easier to control the spin when throwing. After that, cut out your design so you have a template. If you want to correct any errors or change the design, do it now, as any errors will be hard to correct when it's made out of metal. Next, trace your design onto the metal you wish to make your axe out of. We made ours out of some scrap steel we had found in a skip. When you're done, it's time to cut out your tomahawk. We'll be using a jigsaw, but for a cheap alternative, I suggest using a hacksaw as they're accurate and available in all DIY stores. The cool thing about this jigsaw is that it has a laser guide, so cutting to a design is a lot easier. When using machinery, add cutting fluid to the metal to prolong the life of the blade. You must wear safety equipment, including eye protection, dust masks or breathers when doing this. It's even more important when working with galvanized steel as breathing in fumes or fine dust such as zinc oxide can cause metal fume fever. For the bent over edges we couldn't use the jigsaw, so we use an angle grinder to position the cut with the jigsaw. Once it's complete you're ready to start sanding the metal. This part could also be done using a file but as we have the tools we will be using a belt sander. Sand down all the edges until any rough or straight cuts are smooth to the touch. This gives the tomahawk a better look as well as being easier to hold. Then file or sand down all corners on the hilt so that all cut edges are smooth and nice to hold. You could slowly change to a finer grain of sandpaper or file until you get a really smooth finish. As we'll be adding paracord, we chose not to. Next is sharpening the axe head. Again we'll be using the belt sander but this can be done using a file by starting with a rough grit and switching to a finer one as you go along but there are other methods of sharpening such as using a sharpening steel or sharpening stone. Like any other method of sharpening, just begin by creating the rough angle that you want and then begin switching to a finer grit or grain until you have the edge you want. If you added a spike on the back like we did, just repeat the same process until you are happy with the angle. Finally, the last part is the grip. For this we used a basic paracord wrap. First drill holes in the bottom and top of the hilt. This is where the paracord will tie off. When cutting the paracord, melt the frayed ends with a lighter, and when it cools, gently press the end so it covers the inner strands. For our handle, we will be using a very basic wrap, so if you want a different result there are many other methods available. Hold both ends of the paracord outwards. Pull one end around the other until it's in the same position again. Then flip the axe over and repeat until you have completed your wrap. For the end, just push the remaining paracord through the upper hole and tie it off. You could cut off any extra paracord, but we chose just to feed it through the handle. When that's done, you've completed your build. Enjoy your new tomahawk. Board. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We've just had our first supporter on Patreon. Someone's gone even further than just supporting us in the comments, but also going forward and donating to our Patreon page. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a site where you can donate money to your favourite creators so they can continue creating the content that you like watching. Um, thanks Nathan Ford for doing that. Um, thanks everyone for watching. See you Friday.